this is EOC review with some circles. All right, so we have a construct a circle that has these points of this triangle on the circumference. I mean, circumscribed. You, uh, we need at least two what? Well, let's show you how to do this first, and you can answer the question. All right, so we have to, let's find a, a midpoint of two of these lines. Let's start with the, or the hypotenuse. It starts. Uh, it's about five point three. 5.4, so let's go to like 2.7, mark it like right about there, and let's take a right angle, go from there, that is a perpendicular bisector, and then let's do like this one here, this one here is about 4, so let's go to about 2, let's take that perpendicular bisector, Right about there. And where those two intersect, we'll say like right here. Okay, that will be our midpoint of our circle. All right, so we take our midpoint of our circle and we place it on one of those points there. And we make sure it doesn't shift on us. Just start drawing our arc nice and calm. Try not to push the compass one way or another. And you'll see that the arc or the circle ends up ends up circumscribing the, the circle on all those points that are slid on me there. All right, but fix that. You can see. All right, so anyway, so that's how you do that one. You gotta make sure that the, you use a perpendicular bisector. You use a perpendicular bisector uh, to construct circumscri circumscribed triangles, okay? So that's how you do that one. Alright, next we have uh, circle A. Circle A, meaning that CD here, CD is a diameter because A is a center point and this cord travels through the center point and a, and a cord that travels through the center point is a diameter. Right. And it also tells us that EA and ED are congruent. So that means that uh, CA, CA is a radius, right? If, CA is a, if this is the diameter, CA is a radius. And if CA is a radius and a, a, e, AD is a radius too, and if if ED is congruent to AD, then A then these are both half a radius, right? Or a radius divided by two, or you could even say that you can maybe let's bisect this into two here. Let's bisect. Oops, let's bisect this into two, and call this. Uh, you know, we'll call this X, call this X, call this X, and call that X. And we can say that 2X equals 1 radii. Okay? <clears throat> anyway, so from here we can just say that this is, we can say that this is F, G, and F, E is 6, and G, E is 10. All right, so what's the relationship that exists between what we have going on here and uh, what we know about chords that intersect inside of a circle? Well, we know that F uh, times E is gonna be equal to E times G because when chords inter 
intersect inside of a circle. The one side of the chord times the other side of the chord intersected is going to be equal to, in this case, C times E. C to E times E times E times E to D. Okay, so so that is our our like primary equation. Now let's drop some stuff in here. Well, this is six. This side's easy. It's six times ten, which is going to be sixty, right? This side is not as easy, right? This is going to be well, let's see, it's going to be 3, C to E is 3X, 1, 2, 3, it's 3X's, 3X's, and then ED is going to be another, another X, okay, so, what we end up getting is 3, x squared. All right, so what we have to do next is we'll all change to uh, purple, I guess. So we're going to take 60 divided by 3x. Right, so it's going to be 20. Sorry, 60 by 3x squared is going to be 20 equals uh, x squared. And then this will just be 20 equals x. So hx is going to be. Uh, uh, well, 20 breaks down into 20 is 4 times 5. So if this was inside of here, this 20 would come out as a 2. So it would be 20, it would be 2 square root of 5. So x equals 2 square root of 5. And that ends up being 5 square root of 2. Oops. 5 square root of 2 times 2 equals approximately 4.47 inches because that's what we're talking about is inches this whole time okay so that is that one okay this one we have d the whole length d in b intersect at point f and we're going to call d e purple and let's see, and we're gonna call our BC line orange. All right, so FE is purple, and it's 1.3. BF, BF is orange, and it's 1.9. FD, is purple and it's x plus 1.3 and cf is orange and it's x units our relationship or primary equation here is going to be one side of one segment times its same segment is going to be equal to the purple segment times the other purple segment all right so written as c F times FB, B equals DF times FE. Now you can just drop in what you know. X times 1.9, which is going to be 1.9X. Okay, nothing to foil out or nothing there. Make that little bitty x, 1.9x equals, now I'm going to have to FOIL something here, not FOIL, but distribute, um, this is going to be 1.3x times x plus 1.3, not 1.3x, just 1.3, okay, so that's going to be equal to 1.9x equals equals 1.3x plus 1.3 times 1.3, 1.3 times 1.3 equals 1.69, 1.69, 1 
Now we need to bring a 1.3x over here. This is going to turn everything to a different color because we're blending the size together. This is going to be 1.9 minus 1.3 equals 0.6x equals 1.69. Now we do 1.69 divided by 0.6x. And that's x equals 2.82. Okay. Moving on to number 52. Number 52. Find the measure of angle E in the circle. All right. So this is an arc and angle question. We have this arc. We have the big arc. And then we have a small arc, small arc, and then the, the angle outside, call that big gamma. Okay, the equation is, relationship equation is the big angle outside gamma equals the measure of the big arc minus the measure of the small arc. by two. Okay, so in this case it's going to be the measure of E is the way we're going to write this down is 3x minus fifth. Yes, I almost forgot my primary equation, jumped ahead. Uh, measure of angle E equals DC Minus, they don't really give us one for this. Minus, uh, I guess this would be minus, I guess it's only 38 degrees. It's only a good thing they give us. Divided by 2. This is angle DAC. It's the same arc, so this is 110. So I can just say that DC, or DC equals 110 degrees. Okay, so we do some substitution here. This is going to be 110 degrees minus 38 degrees degrees divided by 2. So this side of the equation is going to be 110 minus 38 equals divided by 2 equals 36 equals 36. And then this is going to be equal to 3x minus 15. So our 3x minus 15 equals 36. We're going to bring this 15 to over here. So 3x is equal to uh, 36 plus 15, which is equal to 51. So uh, 51, 51 divided by 3 equals 17. So x, x equals 17. All right, this next one, it says that DE is a diameter. So this angle here is DE is a diameter. Meaning it's 180 degrees. So this arc here is 180 degrees. And this is, ang this is 170 degrees. And what is the angle of, of, uh, of angle C? Well, in a quadrilateral inscribed inside of a of a circle opposite angles so these two are opposite angles they are supplementary All right, so 180 degrees minus 73 degrees is 107 so angle C here angle C is 107 degrees that's an angle C equals 180 degrees minus 73 degrees equals 107 degrees because opposite angles oh, you can't see what I'm doing opposite angles opposite angles inside a quadrilateral are supplementary so like this one and this one would add up to 180 degrees as well but I don't know that one yet okay so anyway so if arc CF 
was 50 degrees. If this was 50 degrees, we'll measure, determine the measure of an angle D and angle F. Okay, so if CF is an arc, and just because they don't show it, you have an I'm doing a, I'm doing a math video. Okay. Uh, that means that this angle is 50 degrees, and these are the same measure because this is a isosceles triangle. That means that this and this are 60 degrees, and that's 60 degrees. Okay. So that's 60 degrees. That's 60 degrees. This one bisected into 50, hey, into 50 degrees, that was 107. Okay, that was 107, and I just took up 57 degrees from it. All right, so 107, no, oh, sorry, not 60 degrees, 65 degrees, because uh, 50 minus 180, is 130 divided by 2 is 65. So those would be 65. Excuse me. These should be 65. 65. 65. 60, 65. Because it's going to be 180 minus 50 divided by 2 is these ones, right? So anyway, so that's 65. So I have 107. 107 minus 65 and that's going to be 42 degrees so that'll be 42 degrees okay and also since this is a radius this is the same length meaning that this angle and this angle are the same meaning that this is a 73 degree angle so if this angle and this angle are uh, I have to add up this angle and find this angle here, All right? So angle CFE is angle CFE equals 65 plus 73. So 65 plus 73 equals 138. And I know that that angle, that's opposite to that angle or supplementary, so 180 minus 138 equals 42. 42 degrees. Look at that. Ain't that something? All right. So that's 42 degrees there. So angle D and angle F. Angle F. Angle angle F equals uh, 138. 138. And angle D, angle D equals 70, 42. Okay, I'm gonna put this one away. <laughs>